the fifth match on Pro Wrestling Noah's Great Voyage on March 2nd, 2024 in Nagoya was a victory challenge tag team tournament matchup that saw Keno and Yu Awata take on Los Golpedores, that's Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf, in a terrific tag team match. Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf decided to work over Yu Awada. Why the hell not? He's the rookie. He's the greenhorn. He's the young lion. He's whatever you want to call him. He's fresh. He's new. He's straight out of the dojo, baby. And they kick this off. Uh, Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf make, make their entrance. And as they await Keno and Awada, whenever Keno and Awada make the ringside area, they both do tope see us. So, so, oh, they both jump over the top rope and land hard on them. And the fight begins, especially on you, Awada. They just want to get Keno out of the way and work this kid over. In the first several minutes of the match, that's what they did. But... Awada avoided being pinned and avoided submitting. If you know and remember, Keno and Awada's only point, one point, in this tournament so far came from a draw they had where Goji Ozaki had Awada in a, in a finishing move, in a, in a submission hold, and Awada held strong for about 45 seconds until the bell rang, giving them a draw. So he's a tough kid. That's why Keno chose him. He's not a star yet by any means. The, the fact that this kid that's just come out of the dojo after, you know, he's been in Noah for seven or eight months is in this tournament is, in, is because of Keno. Keno sees something in him. I'm sure he doesn't expect to win with him, even though this kid has said they're going to win it. But he knows that it, if he works with this kid, he can make something of him. And, you know, Congo doesn't exist anymore, so Keno probably needs whatever he can get. And he's grabbing who he sees as a future star, for sure. And he held fast until he could make the tag to Keno. Keno came in and kicked ass. Just took care of Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf pretty handily. At one point, had both of them in an ankle lock at the same time. But look, even someone as good as Keno isn't going to go the whole match in there. And Owada gets back in and does a lot better. I mean, he gets some offense going, gets a lot of drop kicks on uh, Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf, even gets a big top rope splash. And I mean big. This kid launched himself off the top rope. You'll see one of the stills in my shots here. Look at how high he is. But he's just not on par with Los Golpedores. Uh, Alpha Wolf and Dragon Bane, and he goes down after Dragon Bane hits uh, the Twister Bane on Uawada. He did hit a move similar to that earlier where Uawada got his knees up, which is a real big deal for him, but the second time it landed, and uh, Dragon Bane gets to pin one, two, three, giving Los Golpedores four points in this tournament and leaving Keno and Uawada at only one. But I'm telling you, you can see the remarkable wrestler this kid is going to be as we move along in this tournament. This was a solid matchup. You pretty much know anytime a Wad is in there, uh, him and Keno are going to struggle because of his, you know, his greenness, if you will. But it's fun watching when boy is the crowd behind him because they want to see an underdog upset. And I think surely we'll get one in this tournament somewhere, right? But anyway, that was match number five. It was excellent. Let's move along.